between 700 and 800 of Tyagaraja's compositions have come down to us. And they have come down through what is called the Shishya Paramparas. Shishya means student. Parampara here means lineage. So Tyagaraja had his students who learnt his compositions. They in turn had students who in turn had students and thus through an oral tradition the, his compositions have come down to us. There have been attempts at also at preserving his compositions uh, in written uh, in the written mode as well but the primary way that the compositions have come down to us is the oral uh, transmission is through oral transmission even today uh, any musician worth his or her salt traces back his or her lineage to Tyagaraja or sometimes Dikshadar. Now Tyagaraja um, sang on many themes. There are many moods that you can find in Tyagaraja's compositions and in this session I will try to take a few of these themes and uh, we will look at some of his compositions. Um, and uh, this will hopefully uh, urge you to take a look at many of his other compositions that um, are available uh, very easily really on the internet. Tyagaraja, um, Tyagaraja talks to Rama, he beseeches him, he, he even sometimes um, rebukes him gently. Um, he sings in joy, he sings in despondency, he speaks of music, he sings of music itself, the power of music. And then he speaks of uh, bhakti, devotion, what is the true nature of bhakti. And he sings of charlatans, those who uh, run a charade of devotion or of musicianship. So there are many varied voices that uh, we find in Tyagaraja and uh, in this session I will uh, I just have a s small selection of songs with these varied themes. So first of all who was Tyagaraja's Rama? Of course it was the Rama of Ramayana as uh, envisioned as uh, we find Rama's story as, as told by Valmiki in the Ramayana. Um, and uh, in many of his songs there are references to various episodes from the Ramayana and but suddenly there are many beautiful metaphors that you find sprinkled here and there for instance he calls Rama Sat Chitta Shai it is he who reclines he who reclines in the in a good person's heart Another very famous song, he, he starts by addressing Rama as Sujana Jeevana. Sujana Jeevana. Yeah, I'm so good. 
Arjuna na jivana. He says, you are the life of sujana, of a sujana. Sujana meaning a good person. Anyone who is a good person, of that person you are the life. And we come across many such, um, many such epithets in his compositions. A um, very common theme in his compositions are simply singing the glory of Rama, singing of his beauty, singing of his deeds, of uh, some episodes from the Ramayana, uh, always with a personal angle to it. There is this composition in Madhyamavati, in Radha Madhyamavati. <laughs> Tyagaraja speaks of some of Rama's feats, like for instance, uh, meeting King Janaka's challenge by lifting the bow of Lord Shiva and other such episodes. And what Tyagaraja says is that the hair locks of Rama as they were playing on his face, the sheer beauty of that sight. Tyagaraja uh, says, Vishwamitra, sage Vishwamitra, who uh, was with Rama during all these episodes, Tyagaraja says how he must have uh, relished the sight of those locks caressing Lord Rama's face as he performed these feats. Um, this kind of poetic take on um, describing Rama are very frequently found in his Krutis. And in many Krutis, he speaks to Rama. He asks him why he will not show compassion, why, why he will not show grace, why he will not uh, grant him what he seeks. In this composition in Araga, uh, Jayanta Shri. He says, Maru Velara O Raghava. Why is there the screen between you and me? Why am I not one with you? Why is there the screen? Maru Velara Chara Chara Rupa Paratpara Surya Sudhakara Lochana. Anni Niva Nuchu Antaranga Mula Tinnaga Vetagi Telusu Punti Naya Ninigani Madine Nenajala Norula Nanu Grova Vaya Tyagaraja Nuta. So here he is here he is beseeching Rama to lift this veil that separates the devotee and the God. Vanu chuanta ganga mura ni ni vanu chu anta ganga mura ni ni vanu chu anta ganga mura ni naga vedaji kaisi kundi jaya ni naga da madini ni naja. Oh, 
are many compositions that simply describe the joy of worshipping Rama, the joy of doing puja, the actual process of doing puja. Tyagaraja has many compositions which describe this. Since, for instance, he says a composition that you've heard before in this course, Tulasi Bilba Mallikadi Jalaja Suma Mula Pujala Kaikunadi. That is, this my puja to you. I am offering these flowers. Tulasi, Bilva, Mallika, the lotus. Please accept these offerings of mine. Tulasi, many compositions he actually asks that he be given bhakti bhakti is also something that is the lord's grace so, so if you have bhakti that is a gift and kyagaraja asks for that gift he says bhakti bhikshamiyave satvika bhakti bhikshamiyave something that you give He's, he's begging for, bhiksha is something you beg for. So he's saying, I'm begging you to give me bhakti and not any bhakti, sattvika bhakti. Bhakti composition of his, he says, Tele Leru Rama Bhakti Margamu. We don't know the path of devotion. We roam around here and there without being aware of the path of devotion. People go through the motions. They, they have their ritual bath, 
they were religious symbols, but where is bhakti in all this? Telia Liru Rama Bhakti Margam. Begale ki vita munigi puji puji. Begale ki vita munigi puji puji. Begale ki vita munigi of a composition he says he talks of the sheer bliss of bhakti rama bhakti he says rama bhakti samrajyam the this empire the samrajya of rama bhakti is something that if you attain it there is no bliss equal to it and it is something that you cannot describe it is something that is for you to experience he says, Ila gali vivarim palenu chala swanu bhava vetyami. It's, it's not possible to, to describe it this way or that way. It is a matter of swanu bhava. Ila gali vivarim palenu chala. Rama for bhakti, he asks Rama for wisdom, for buddhi, for uh, wisdom. He asks Rama for wisdom. He says, Why won't you give me the wisdom that the great men have had? Yenduku peddala vale buddhi yavu. Yendu Podu Nanya Ramanya Veda Shastra Tatwar Tamulu Telisi Veda Rahita Vedan Tamulu Telisi Nada Vidya Marmambula Nutelisi Nata Tyagaraja Nuta 
నిజముగా ఎందుకు పెద్దల వలే బుద్ధి ఇయ్యవు వై వోంట్ గివ్ మీ ద విస్టమ్ దాట్ గ్రేట్ మెన్ అఫ్ హ్యాడ్ వేద శాస్త్ర set of compositions uh, that Tyagaraja has left behind are on music itself. The power of music, the power of notes. In many of his compositions he refers to, he uses the word Nada. Nada Yoga, Nada Vidya, Nada Upasana, the worship of Nada, musical sound. Nada Yoga, Nada Upasana is a is a dis is a is um, a means of liberation through music through sound and um, he in many of uh, many of his beautiful compositions talk about this he says nada loludai brahmanandame this is nada loludai brahmanandame is uh, reveling or taking pleasure in the in, in nada that is equal to brahmananda which is um, spiritually the ultimate uh, state he has handled not just major ragas but minor ragas like what i just sang in uh, uh, shuddha bangala shuddha bangala is a minor raga nama bhakti samrajya mood is in some minor raga again this um nada lolude brahmanandame is in a raga called kalyana vasantam again a minor raga nada lolude brahmanandamandave manasana nada lolude brahmanandamandave Ha uh-huh. 
He says, this is in Shankara Bhairam, and again it's on music, on Raga and Swara and Nada. He says, Swara Raga Sudha Rasa Yuta Bhakti Swarga Pavarga Mura O Manasa. He is telling himself, his own mind, he is saying, Swara Raga Sudha Rasa Yuta Bhakti, devotion that is charged with the rasa or the essence or the the enjoyment of swara and raga that that nectar so devotion combined with this music that itself is swarga that itself is heaven and that itself is apavarga that itself is liberation and this is as i said a very significant uh, composition the anupallavi says this paramanandame kamalamupai pakabekamu chilagini now this can be uh, interpreted in many ways but the meaning literal meaning is as you can see that uh, there is the uh, the lotus which can give you the ultimate bliss but what can a crane or a frog have to do with the lotus The lotus here is ref, this, uh, refers to what music can actually give and uh, what people do with music is what the crane or the frog do with the lotus. It is only a bee that knows the nectar that a lotus can offer. So, um, here he is really pointing, indicating at the uh, at the actual words of music, what it can give you, and what people are actually uh, deriving from it. In the first charanam, he says, "Muladhara nada merugute muda magu moksha mura kola hala saptaswara grahamula gurute." Moksha Mura. The science of Nada Yoga, the discipline, the practice of Nada Upasana is esoteric, no doubt, but um, it involves in it, it, it involves um, going inwards to seek the source of sound, to seek the source of musical sound, and um, the the belief is as borne out in experience um, that there are certain parts of the body that are activated to produce certain swaras. Uh, though it does seem esoteric, there are living masters who, who testify to this, uh, to its truth um, and um, musical practice, practice of music when it is inward, that can result, that can yield undreamt of uh, happiness. And uh, we may say that what Carnatic music as it's professionally practiced is, is not the kind of music that Yagaraja is talking about. 